Alex Berenson has just been banned from Twitter, apparently for good. Twitter has also prevented anyone from reading any of his posts. This probably won't surprise you. Alex Berenson has persisted in telling the truth, reading the data from day one. But here's the good news. Alex Berenson's work is still available on Substack, where his readership is increasing exponentially every day. So maybe there are alternatives to the monopolies. Alex Berenson joins us tonight. Alex, thanks so much for coming on. So no one watching is surprised that you've been banned. I think everyone's appalled by it, but it's not shocking because you have been so fearless in telling the truth. Really quickly, tell us what you got banned for and then tell us what the alternatives to the old system are turning out to be. Sure, well, first of all, I'm not clear what I got banned for. I haven't received an official notice or email from Twitter about this. I can't get into my account and they've told other people that I've been banned. Uh, on Saturday, I tweeted that if you look at the efficacy and duration of the vaccines, it's probably more accurate to call them therapeutics than vaccines. And yep. given their side effect profile and the fact they have to be dosed in advance, um, you know, that's a that, that's a decision that people are going to want to make on their own. And it's certainly not something that we want to mandate. Um, I think every statement I made in that tweet was totally accurate and defensible. And I think if it gets to a jury, we'll find out what a jury has to say about that. Um, but to be honest, Twitter hasn't told me I can't tweet. They can't. T they haven't told me I can't tweet under my name. They haven't told me I can't tweet under somebody else's account, which we know ghostwriting is a thing on Twitter. So, you know, I, I as far as I'm concerned, I just can't get into my account right now. Now, Twitter has 200 million people, 200 million daily active users. It is a tremendously important and valuable platform for me to be denied access to it. Uh, when I'm trying to, you know, get public health information out there, I think is dangerous. I have Substack and I've been amazed at the response, uh, Tucker. You know, thousands and thousands of people are signing up every day, but Twitter is a much larger platform. And, and, and you know, and I think I have a First Amendment claim, uh, you know, in that Twitter is sort of the modern town square. And in California, actually, where Twitter is based, there is special protection for this. The California Supreme Court had a very interesting ruling about 40 years ago on this issue involving malls. So Twitter, Twitter you know, wants to fight battles in court in California, and we'll see if that works to their advantage or not. Um, and then I think there's a separate issue here, which is that Twitter has defamed me. Twitter has said that my information is inaccurate. And, you know, as a result, uh, everybody from Vice to other places, you know, they, they say terrible things about me and they say I'm disgraced or that I, you know, that I'm putting out false information. Twitter is not just one voice on its site, obviously. Twitter is the operator of its own site. And it has a special responsibility not to defame users of the site. So, it, you know, it's not just that I have a right to, uh, to put out information right or wrong. It's that I think the information is right. So please join the movement, come to Substack, support, support this fight. Right. I hope you sue the crap out of these to totalitarians. I really do. And and if you do, I hope you'll come back and tell us how we can, you know, buy popcorn uh, and watch. Uh, I I really do. I have been. It's more than that. Twitter people, oh, Tucker. People want to be part of this. They want to help fund this lawsuit. It's been amazing yeah. to me. Yeah, I want to fund it. Right? You know, I do. I mean that. <laughs> Alex Berenson, thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks.